luck, Larry. I'm not sure what to say. Um, I've been a psychotherapist for 30 years, a professor of psychotherapy. I've trained really many people in working with major difficulties emotionally. And then I ran into a lot of problems with there's so much limitations to trauma treatment, to actually dealing with depression, anxiety, PTSD with traditional forms of psychotherapy. Then maybe four years ago, five years ago, Barnaby said, come down to the farm and have a workshop in shamanism. Of course, I'm interested because we've been boomerang uh, competitors and pals and co-creators for our whole life together, as well as my brother Pete. So I came to the farm. I found my power animal. It's a 55-foot rainbow circle. It's kind of here. <laughs> and after that, I came down, and then Barnaby wanted me to go to Burning Man. And that's where I met the trainers. That's where I met um, almost everybody that I know associated with shamanism. And then I have to say there was a long journey for me about really believing in the value of the journey to heal trauma. This is where it's going to get, this is where I'm going to go into it. <clears throat> okay. Anastasia Rompompom, who just came back from Burning Man, she posted something on Facebook. She's not here. But it was written by Sandra Ingerman. I thought it was the most incisive description of the fusion between shaman, shamanistic healing and psychotherapy. Okay, where do we all meet? Soul retrieval is where we all meet. That's where the people who gravitate to shamanism, that's all of us, we have wounds, we have trauma, we have difficulty. Sometimes no one ever paid attention to us in our whole lives. Shamanism is a huge umbrella developed thousands of years ago by many, many tribes for all over the world. And it has a coherency to how it treats people who lost their souls or spirits when they're in a, a very, very horrific situation. Any kind of per serious abuse. And I'm telling you, most people look around. There's people here we all can identify with abuse, sexual abuse, neglect, honestly. And so what I know is the most beautiful people on earth have gone through that, and many of them are shamanistic, and many of them have found relief in shamanism. Okay, now I'm gonna skip, skip, skip forward. I'm a skeptic, so I don't totally believe in shamanism. I don't totally believe in anything. I'm not sure, okay? So that's okay, but I try to suspend my belief and try to trust in things. So. I just came out of 10 days training in something called progressive counting. It's akin to EMDR. If you know what about EMDR, it's the state-of-the-art treatment in the world for trauma. If you have sexual abuse, if you have, if you are really hurt, if you are really ongoingly wounded, this is what therapists are trained to do is EMDR. If you know about it or if you've ever had it. Okay, now there's another thing that's just been developed called progressive counting, which I took. 10 days of training in which now I'm skilled in and I, I've been a client in it. And I figured out after all these 10 days, wow, there's a way to combine sh shamanic methods with this trauma approach. So now I'm in interested in how to combine that. So I told my mentor, he's an Israeli man, he's brilliant. He's one of the most brilliant psychologists I ever saw. And I agreed with him a lot, which is unusual. I don't agree with a lot of people. They're good, but, um, I told him right away that I have shamanic techniques and I might start to innovate right away. And he told me, no, you have to imitate before you innovate. <laughs> okay, but I, I tried to imitate a lot um, in terms of being a, sh a shaman leader, a shamanic leader. I ran a group for two years. We had 10 people. We met every two weeks for two years in Shelburne Falls, Massachusetts. And they came here two years ago, my whole group for a soul retrieval. And, we did things that were unbelievable as a group, discovering how to use sound vibration healing, toning, group work, hands-on for healing. Okay, so that's powerful, but here's what I'm gonna tell you. There are millions and millions and millions of people who are traumatized and can't work it out, and they don't know where to go and they don't know exactly even who to turn to. And most people go to therapists, and therapists are well-intentioned, but they don't know what to do. 
A lot of them, all they do is either they support or they flood you with, go back and remember it over and over and over again until you're re-traumatized and then you're done. Okay? That does not work. That's called, you know, that's called re-stimulating back into uh, a whole traumatic event. So I'm not going to get technical, but the good news is this. We have a world that's changing. You all know this. There's a reason why you all came to Burning Woman. There's a reason why you're attracted to shamanism. There's a reason why you like healing. What the fuck is healing? What is it? Everybody wants to be healed from what? Life? Is life so fucked up that we want to be healed constantly? Everybody wants to be healed, 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 healed. Okay, how about I don't want to be healed. I want to be myself. How about myself is healed? Okay, so finding yourself is where... Okay, if you have a, a, a power animal, Barney's helped you get a power animal. There's your tool. There's your tool to heal yourself and heal others. You need tools. You need to know what to do. It's not blind to help someone. Okay, you all want to be helpers. You all want to be healers. You want to help others in distress. Okay, take it seriously. Honest to God, when you have someone lying next to you and they're really going into a journey, they might be into a journey that's really dark and really scary. Okay, and so a journey doesn't just heal, but it can at least soothe. So I don't know what heals people. I know that there's a lot of combinations, but I know that the heart is the right area to go, not the head. And the body is much more important than having people talk too much, although you need to give voice. Okay. Okay, so where does this go? I don't know. Barnaby wants to start a dialogue. I think it's a good thing about contemporarily. You guys, where are you going to go now with all this fervor on shamanism? Where are you going to study? Who are you going to study with? Who are you going to start working with? Your family, your friends, your community? We need community. You look at around here with this whole society. It's crumbling quickly. Right now, we need community, and maybe community can be based around shamanic work, creativity, I don't know, there's a dream. Um, like, what I like about all this tonight is there's a variation of expression. I can sit here and go over all this stuff from my point of view. It's, maybe it's academic, maybe it's from the heart. Phoebe comes up here and does this amazing expression. Something else, maybe we're saying the same thing, exactly. She just did something different. But maybe we're all here trying to say, say the same thing. If we don't have love, what the fuck do we have in life? That's all we really have. That's all the universe is. That's all, that's all anything really is. When you go out far enough in the universe, it all is one. We know that. In fact, every journey probably leads you there. So the journey has to melt with reality. Unfortunately, reality in this rough world doesn't love shamanism too much yet. But what I've seen is veterans who have been really wounded and hurt, women who have been sexually abused and really fucked up, mentally ill people who haven't ever been understood, they love shamanism inherently. How come? What is it about shamanism that grabs a hold of the spirit? Okay, maybe it's inherent in the human condition. That's how we learn to heal. Maybe we gotta go back, get off our medical model, go back to the medical end, the beautiful techniques from many thousands of years ago that we have learned and we're rediscovering to beautiful people they work. Okay? See what works for you guys in experiment. Okay, that's good. Oh. Uh, when you, Ripple, come on up.